in the heart of the word. Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the daily readings from the Holy Mass. Special Long Course Series, Holy Week 2023, Wednesday of Holy Week, The Virgin of Sorrows. God bless you, dear family. Today in the heart of the word, on Wednesday of Holy Week, we're in the sanctuary of Our Lady of La Salette, France, in the mountains. Here on September 19th, 1846, Our Lady appeared to two simple farm children named Melanie and Maximino. Our Lady was surrounded by a brilliant light, and when the children approached, they saw her in tears. She wore a beautiful dress, and the children noticed that she was wearing a heavy chain around her neck, and at the center was a large cross. On the arms of the cross were two instruments of the Passion, a hammer on one side and pliers on the other. Our Lady spoke the language of the children and was dressed in such a way that they recognized her nobility and majesty. At the same time, she spoke to them with great humility, love, and affection. The Virgin Mary specifically spoke to them about the need to renounce two grave and very common sins of that time. The first was not honoring Sunday as a day set aside for the Lord, to attend Holy Mass, to refrain from unnecessary work, and to perform the acts of charity and solidarity. The second was the grave sin of swearing and blasphemy against the name of God. These two grave sins were the remnant of the French Revolution, and we must also admit, unfortunately, are very, very common in our own time. What did the hammer and the pliers mean on the cross that Our Lady wore? First, we notice that the cross was on a chain. In biblical terms, the chain is a sign of slavery, which finds its gravest form in our sins. Our Lady wears the chain as a sign of a mother who is willing to suffer for her children, just as she stood faithfully at the foot of the cross on Good Friday. The hammer is the instrument used by those who crucified Jesus with the heavy nails. The pliers are the instrument used by those who remove the nails from the body of Jesus. Our Lady of La Salette is calling us to decide, will we use the hammer or the pliers? Will we continue in sin or will we embrace the path of reparation and consolation? Today in the Gospel, we hear of Judas' decision to betray Jesus. We can only imagine how profoundly Our Lady must have wept when she heard the news. In our own time, with the violence against human life, the renunciation of God's plan for marriage in the family, and the coldness and indifference among those who are called especially be closest to the Lord, Our Lady has reasons to weep very deeply now. As we prepare to celebrate the Holy Triduum, let us take a moment to reflect. Will we use the hammer and remain in our sins and selfishness, or will we use the pliers and repair for the wrong we have done, and repair for the wrong we have done, and console the hearts of our Lord and Our Lady by making a good confession, accompanying the Lord on Holy Thursday, remaining with the Lord on Good Friday in prayer, and accompanying Our Lady on Holy Saturday, and finally rejoicing with the Lord on Easter Sunday. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. If we are to be healed and delivered by His wounds, we must enter into them, into the school of each one, and learn what they have to teach us. We must repair and console them for what our sins have caused Him. Our sins are the reason for each of His sacred wounds, and consoling His sacred wounds is the reason why we want to truly live the Holy Triduum. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Our Lady of La Salette, pray for us. Please don't cry anymore, Mother. Let our love console your tears. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.